Power-hungry data centers are supposed to usher in a new nuclear age. Here's how DeepSeek upends that. Demand for power from data centers is supposed to skyrocket. One estimate I saw recently has them consuming more than the entire state of Texas within three years. Ideally, data center operators want their power to be always on and carbon free. And nuclear power fits that bill. There's just one problem. It takes about 10 years on a good day to build a new nuclear power plant in the US. The hyperscalers kind of want to get started yesterday. So a lot of them are signing contracts with gas power plants instead. Nuclear hasn't lost hope because the idea is that there is going to be so much demand from data centers, so much money going into data centers, that by the time the nuclear power plants show up in about 2035 or so, there'll still be lots of demand for their electricity. DeepSeek messes with all of that. The last time there was a big build out in nuclear power capacity in the US, 1960s, 1970s, we kind of ran into the same problem. 1960s, big, fast growing economy, lots of electricity demand, build lots of nuclear power stations. That kind of rolled into the 70s, but guess what? Power demand didn't really show up. Why? We had an oil crisis. Everyone got energy efficient. Demand projections just didn't work out. Some nuclear power plants ended up getting abandoned. And this is the problem with today's nuclear renaissance too. By the time we get to the 2030s, it's possible that things like deep seek or a host of other disruptions show up to maybe make AI business models not as compelling or make the data centers more efficient or come up with a rival power generating technology like gas with carbon capture. Who knows? What deep seek has showed us is that any time you want to invest in a nuclear power plant, you're really, really hoping that by the time the thing actually switches on in 10 years time, the world still looks like what it kind of looks like today. And that's a big bet to make.